in association with Dubai Chamber of Commerce, Dubai Culture and Arts Authority, Department of Tourism and Commerce Marketing, and Dubai Events and Promotions Establishment. The city of vibrance, the city of heritage, and the city that's surrounded by the desert, Dubai. The metropolis that rose from the desert, Dubai is a destination like no other. During the 60s, the city was mostly known for its spirit of commerce. Today, Dubai is a 21st century city, famous for its cutting-edge architecture and innovative leadership. The city is both a dynamic international business hub and a laid-back tourist escape. Whether it's the cultural attractions, tax-free shopping, outdoor activities or the quality of life, Dubai has it all. Marhaba and welcome to Dubai. Marwan is taking us along on a trip to Dubai. In order to get a good impression of the city, Marwan starts with a car ride along a few highlights. During your visit to Dubai, make sure you take a drive down the Sheikh Zayed Road. It's one of the most popular highways in Dubai, and it takes you right through all the skyscrapers. It's very impressive. If you love architecture, you'll be able to indulge to your heart's delight. You will see futuristic buildings, high towers and wonderful mosques at a stone's throw from one another. The urban landscape is also extremely diverse. One ice cream cone, please. All right, thank you. Dubai combines the bustle of a cosmopolitan city with the tranquility of a holiday destination. You may think that my sightseeing has come to an end, but look. There's no escaping the wonders of this city. When you come to Dubai, a place that you have to visit is the world's tallest tower. You're quite right, Marwan, and you're in luck. A visit to the 828-meter-high tower is a veritable attraction. The lift in itself is already spectacular. 124 floors in less than a minute. Once you've reached the top, you'll have a 360-degree panoramic view over the city and its surroundings. This is just one of those moments you have to share with your friends. And I'm loving how fast this uploads. That's New Dubai, and this is what you call a top view. Right next to the world's tallest building, you'll find the Dubai Mall, one of the most prestigious malls of the city. When you're shopping in Dubai, you can pay everywhere by cart. It's easy and it's safe, so let's go. Fashion lovers can shop to their heart's content in Dubai. There's something for everyone from the large franchises to haute couture. But it's not just fashion galore. Visiting a mall in Dubai is a true experience. There's a lot more to do here than just shopping. You can grab a bite to eat, you can go ice skating, catch film. For me, I'm about to do something a bit more spectacular. I'm going for a shark dive. This mega aquarium holds about 400 sharks. It's a fascinating experience to be swimming with these wondrous creatures. Besides sharks, the aquarium houses more than 85 other species of marine life. And because of an intricate system of glass tubes, it's possible to explore this underwater world without the use of a diving suit. Located right next to the sea, 
Dubai used to be a city of sailors, fishermen and pearl divers. Because of all the water in Dubai, whether it's the Dubai Marina, the Natural Creek or even the ocean, one great way to see it is by boat. The Dubai coastline is very diverse. You'll see the impressive skyline, its many islands and breathtaking nature, such as coral reefs and sea life. And of course, being on the water is very refreshing. Well, this is the good life. You can make your stay in Dubai as spectacular as you desire and Marwan doesn't need to be told twice. If you'd like to get your adrenaline pumping, Dubai is the place for you. My fate is in the hands of Freddy. He's taking me skydiving. Skydive Dubai flies you to 13,000 feet, where you take your jump. The moment of truth. A little bit nervous, but very excited. After your spectacular freefall, you'll enjoy a beautiful view of the Palm Islands and the world. An artificial island group shaped like the planet's continents. Adrenaline pumping is the best feeling in the world. Skydive Dubai is the place. Marwan visits Souk Madinat. This Arabian style shopping mall is a village in its own right, featuring many shops and restaurants. This souk is a great mixture between traditional and modern, where you can buy lots of cool stuff, like a shisha. The souk is ideal for a leisurely afternoon of shopping and browsing. There's a lot of different shops at the souk. This one over here offers flavors from around the world. Hello, my friend. Can I try the dried kiwi, please? Just outside the souk, on the waterside, you'll find Souk Madinat's many terraces and restaurants. Here we are in this Arabian environment, tasting oriental food, and you can even dance salsa. Now that's what I call international fusion. Don't lose track of time though, Marwan. Remember, you're starting early tomorrow. Well, it's very early, it's about 5 a.m., but some things are worth waking up early for. Marwan is heading for the desert village of Al Ain, about an hour's drive south from Dubai. So this is the start point for my adventure today, hot air ballooning over the Dubai desert. During these so-called sunrise flights, you'll see just how beautiful the desert landscape actually is. You can't really ask for a better view, can you? Picture perfect. Apart from the balloon's burner, you can enjoy complete silence. The flight takes about an hour and is an unforgettable adventure. on solid ground, you're in for a warm welcome. After the exploratory balloon flight, Marwan ventures further into the desert. 
he's taking a four-wheel drive to explore the enchanting beauty of the Dubai Desert Conservation Reserve. He's even lucky enough to meet a couple of residents of this serene environment. One of the original inhabitants of the desert is the falcon. Since ancient times, the people of the desert have used falcons for hunting. These days, falconry is still a valued tradition in the UAE. What a magnificent animal. Can I try this myself? What a beautiful way to end the day, riding a camel into the sunset. Yeah, it. That's how you experience a sunset in style, Marwan. about sports to Dubai locals, you'll find out that one in particular is very popular over here, and that is horse racing. So let's go check out this local phenomenon. During the winter months, Dubai hosts horse racing on a weekly basis. Frankie Dettori is a local hero, so tonight I'm supporting him, and his horse of course. This race course is home to the famous Dubai World Cup, a must visit where the best jockeys, horses and trainers go head to head. And it's not just about eternal glory. The winners are entitled to some very generous prizes. Talk about good motivation. Well, he didn't win, but maybe next time. Now you may think that DIFC is just a business district, but there's more to it. Take tonight, for example. They've organized an art night here at Gate Village. The Arts Night is a combination of art, music and design and all in a relaxed atmosphere accompanied by a drink and a bite to eat. There are various art exhibitions in the broader sense of the word. New talent gets a chance to present their work here but there are also plenty of established names on display. This piece right here is one of my personal favourites. It's called You Are The Sun. Some of the world's leading artists are represented right here in these galleries. any Dubai resident, they will praise the Emirate for the numerous amounts of festivals, exhibitions, culture and sports events that happen throughout the year. One of these is Sikka Art, organized by Dubai Culture and Arts Authority, putting a spotlight on Emirati as well as local artists. What I'm wearing is called the Kandora and it's the national attire of the UAE. To get a taste of the real authentic Dubai, make sure you visit the Al Shandara and the Al Fahidi historical neighborhoods. When you see these old buildings, it doesn't take much imagination. You're back in time. That's right, Marwan. This historic area is without a doubt the cultural heart of the city. Take a look at these wind tunnels, for example. They're like our modern day air conditioners. There's plenty to see on a cultural level in Dubai. Like this, the Dubai Museum located in the majestic Al Fahidi Fort. Also the Sheikh Saeed House, the Sheikh Mohammed Center for Cultural Understanding and the modern Jumeirah Mosque with its two minarets are certainly worth visiting. Dubai's history can be found in the core area district, Dira, which is the original city centre. Traditional Dows still traverse the creek, mostly like taxis. Some of the best places to visit in Dira are the souks, like the gold souk. Staggering amounts of jewellery find new owners here every single day. The gold souk is easily the most popular, 
but you can buy just about anything in this labyrinth of small streets and alleys. The spice market especially is worth a visit. All these spices and herbs smell so good. It's too bad there's no smell vision TVs yet though. The sheer size of the flag here at Union House shows you that this is an important place. It was actually right here that the first treaty was signed between the Emirates, creating the UAE. Visitors can visit the historic photo exposition or take a walk through the beautifully kept gardens. just a great place to catch up on the history of the UAE. Inside, the photo exposition and presentation on the evolution of the UAE is also worth your visit. Big Boys Toys, one of the main events of Dubai Shopping Festival, an important lifestyle event in the region. Dubai hosts many events. Today we're checking out Big Boys Toys. Sounds like I could spend a lot of time here. As the name implies, Big Boys Toys features the world's greatest, fastest, sleekest, most unique and luxurious products. I've been looking for a watch like this for a long time, and here, I get to buy one. Thank you. Needless to say, a Big Boys Toys favorite, the supercar, cannot be forgotten. You can test drive a lot of sports cars here. I'm about to hit the road with this R8. Wow, what a machine. Every year, Dubai hosts hundreds of events. There's something for everyone such as theatre shows from all over the planet, world-class music concerts and international arts and culture, as well as an excellent calendar of year-round sporting events. Also considered the world's ultimate shopping, leisure and family tourism destination, Dubai organises several festivals throughout the year, including Dubai Summer Surprises and Dubai Shopping Festival. Initiated by Dubai Events and Promotions Establishment, these festivals bring Dubai to life with world-class events, entertainment, hotel packages and unbelievable promotions and raffles. Visit DubaiCalendar.com for the official calendar of events for the city of Dubai. It would never occur to the average tourist visiting Dubai. But if you'd like a good read, make sure you stop by at one of Dubai's many public libraries. Dubai is a proverbial melting pot, and because of this, all kinds of international literature can be found on the shelves of the public libraries. This looks like my kind of book. All public libraries have a separate children's section, featuring a reading hall, an activity room and audiovisual facilities. In order to get a good view of Dubai, it's best to see it from above. And that's why today I'm taking a flight, but not on just any plane, a seaplane. Flying in one of these seaplanes is a unique experience. Once you're up in the air, you have front row seats of the immense spectacle that is Dubai. Where the desert meets the sea, feast your eyes on sights such as the Palm Jumeirah. Wow, this is amazing. Well, that was outstanding. A nice way to get around Dubai is the metro. It's fast, safe, and you've got your hands free to check your smartphone. Oh, and there's free Wi-Fi too. 
Dubai is famous for its many beautiful and large shopping malls. The Mall of the Emirates is one such showpiece. Apart from their impressive size and wide range of shops, one of the things the city's malls are famous for is for being true entertainment complexes. This one even has an indoor ski resort. It would never occur to you when you're walking through the city's desert heat, skiing in Dubai. And it's my first time. With five different slopes of varying degrees of difficulty, as well as a ski academy and a fun park, there is something to do for everyone. From beginners to real snow enthusiasts. By the way, skis and clothes are included. Golf is a very popular sport in Dubai, and there are many golf courses. But this is where it all began, the Emirates Golf Club. Instantly recognized by its signature clubhouse, Emirates Golf Club was the first all-grass championship golf course in the Middle East when it opened in 1988. Well, I couldn't find Tiger Woods, but I found Jamie Wood. And he's a professional golfer in Dubai, and we're having a round of golf on the Majlis Golf Course. The Dubai Desert Classic, part of the European PGA Tour, was first held on this course. This made the club, as well as the sport itself, very famous in the Emirates. Marwan visits the GBR district. This area here is known as the Wak. People from Dubai like to come here to grab a bite to eat, take a dip in the ocean, or just come for a leisurely stroll. In GBR, you also find a beautiful beach where both tourists and the local population enjoy the sea. It's recommended to go a bit later in the afternoon. It's a bit cooler and you'll receive a beautiful gift from Mother Nature. What a majestic sunset! And it's all included in your visit. It's not so difficult to find some nighttime entertainment in this town. And make sure you don't miss the fountain. The fountain is a spectacle of water, music and light. It's 275 meters in length. That's two football fields. It's beautiful to watch. Dubai is always in my heart. There's so much to do and see here, you just can't get enough. I hope you enjoyed your stay here and I hope to see you back here soon. Assalamu. For more episodes, go to cityfilm.tv or download the app in the iTunes store.